Alrighty guys, I have a replay for you between Nerthal and Yiffer. Let's see what happens. We've got Nerthal playing Fire, and Yiffer playing Shadow. Um, Fire player is going for the sides, he wants to build his walls quickly. The Shadow player looks like he's going for the center. Um, another advantage about this is that if he wants, he can just straight up rush this Fire player base without necessarily grabbing well. But it looks like he would rather play the safer way, and he grabs the well. Uh, fire player's looking like he's gonna grab this well as well. Um, so his he's got a little bit more power, but at the expense of maybe ground presence. Although this this center position is a bit of a target, as you can see, as Yifer goes off to the side to grab a well, this gives Nerthal a little bit of an opportunity to come in and attack. Problem is that if a Nox trooper is spawned, this scavenger is just going to die. Um, it might sometimes be a viable technique to do this and let your the Nox trooper kill the scavenger, but if you do that, you should pretty much immediately go tier 2. Um, and that way, the other player has spent power, extra power on tier 1, which will allow you to tier 2 faster and get a little bit of an acceleration going. It's not a great play, it's, you know, it is what it is. Um, I think the Dread Charger hit first, which means that um, Nerthal is going to have to play a Scavenger, or a uh, Sunstrider, um, and, or not, looks like the, the Dread Charger is just going to win. Um, by the way, Yiffer went tier 2. Um, this wall went up. That could be dangerous, so... Nerthal is going to have to make sure that nothing comes to that wall. Um, and Yiffer is going to try very hard to get to that wall. Um, this would be easier if it were a fire nature. Um, but fire frost, yeah, this wall is going to get mounted. Um, this does not seem like the highest level replay, actually. By the way, a little bit earlier, I, I forgot to comment on this. When you saw the scavenger and dread charger attacking, um, it is always in the, maybe not always, is almost always in the best interest of the scavenger to attack. Um, if there's like no other units, because whoever gets the first hit will win, and except the scavenger can run away. So if you both go to attack and then the dread charger ends up hitting first, the scavenger can run away, and. Um, you know, heal up, or you can just spawn more sun, more sun striders, or you can just literally just run away, um, and both of you keep your units. If the scavenger hits first and the dread charger doesn't, then the the dread charger can't run away because if it runs away, it dies. Um, interesting play here. He didn't shield this guy, Frederick. Um, this micromanagement is giving me much better hope for the quality of these two players. Um, so. So yeah, I, I I I don't know them. They're probably Smurfs, or maybe I know them. I don't remember them. Um, oh right, I brain fart here. Um, Frost has a glacier shell, so it's actually not hugely important that this wall got mounted because Cobalt Trick and Glacier Shell will take care of that. Um, I'd expect to see maybe some side themes. Um, this guy, I think, is gonna die. Yeah, expecting scythe fiends, not seeing them. Um, oh right, he's got no power. He built a well over here, um, and is concentrating on mining this well back. And there's the scythe fiends. These dark Elf assassins are completely defenseless now. Um, so maybe he didn't even need a scythe fiends. He probably could have just used another skyfire drake. Uh, well, no, the skyfire drake would have been gravity surged. Um, sun, okay, good micro. The sun shredders got off the wall while they're shooting, and they'll get it back on the wall when they're off. We see side themes against the nightcrawler. The nightcrawler is frenzied already, so these guys should run away, actually. Still being attacked here. And on this front, there's still a little bit of an attack. Both of these players have frost postures, though, so the fact that the wall is mounted isn't hugely important. Um, these guys got off. I think he wants a well. He does want a well. 
and Yiffer also takes a well. At this point, it is going to be a little bit harder for Nerthal to take tier 3, because he'll have to take it here, which can be rushed from both of these sides. This wall comes down, this wall he's not even trying to take down. Um, looks like he's... I don't know why he spawned there. He probably should have spawned here. We've got Skypardrix against the Nightcrawlers. This guy can back up into the protection of the Dark Elf Assassins. Or he could just freeze. That works too if he's confident in his power and he, he thinks he can take over. Yeah, freeze was, I think, a good move here. Um, the Frenzy, not sure if that was... Yeah, I guess that was good. Um, good Storm Singer to kill the Nightcrawler just before it brings down the Frost Sorceress. And I really have no idea what this Storm Singer is doing. It went like all the way around behind the wall to hit at them. That's weird. Uh, by the way, you've seen this a couple times. It's like the Frost Sorceress is shielding up the Skyfire Drake. That's very strong because the Skyfire Drake's biggest weakness is its lack of health. And so when you Ice Shield it, you like more than double its health. Which. It, that's pretty that's pretty important. Um, oh, we've got the Viridia. I think Viridia used to be like a classic in the uh, Fire Frost deck because I think they like to use the Tree Spirits for the M counter because it's like this 900 times 2. That's pretty good. Um, the Nasty Surprise, uh, probably not worth it, I think. Viridia's slow healing will also help uh, mitigate this damage. Um, and... Um, there's not enough units to kill them. Uh, good freeze. A uh, very essential freeze. This probably would have been... This probably would have gone down. I never... 900 damage. That's pretty good. This is like... It's like a 50 power unit. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. If your deck is struggling with an M counter, using Viridia for three spirits is not a bad idea. Um, the Storm Singer is not bad. Storm Singer is pretty good. I... Some decks use Stormsinger as their encounter, um, but it's, it's it doesn't do that much damage as compared to like two nine hundred damage units. Lava field from fire, um, not super useful. I think mostly it was used for the knockback. Uh, it may have saved the Scythian's life. Um, this has probably been cobalted once or twice, which is a drain on power. Um, but not a huge drain on power, because there's like, uh, what, 75 power bound here? Um, so that's, uh, ooh, bad power of corruption. Um, looks like Nurthal's, uh, set up to win this. Um, so this is, this is, I think, good for Yiffer, um, in the, but, but it's not, it's not, like, super good for him. Because he's just got like the one Forsaken, so he's binding 75 power, and uh, Nerthal's gonna cobalt trick this every now and then. Or maybe Glacier Shell. Um, I, I don't play Frost. I think Glacier Shell is actually more damage reduction for the, um, for the price. But it might be only if he does full damage, and I'm not sure. That was a good lava field. I'm not sure if one squad of Forsaken will do full damage. Um, another lava field maybe, actually? Um, more freeze. Freeze is not quite in time. Um, the lava field was probably still on cooldown. Rydia is knocking back the Dark Elf Assassins, but uh, once you get one hit and they spread out, then they can go into the stance and they don't really get knocked back. Um, this one will probably not drop, but Nerthal's already gotten down, I think, two wells at this point, so he's standing, he's standing in a very good position. Um, so he's, yeah, and he's preparing to go tier 3. Instead of a Storm Singer, he should probably drop a Ice Barrier, but my guess is that Nerthal doesn't have Home Soil and Ice Barrier in his deck. Um, just a guess. Because we saw like the Frost Sorceress and 
Skyfire Drake combo. So some players use both combos, like the Skyfire Drake and Frost Sorceress, um, but other players only use one or the other, I think. Um, anyway, I haven't... That would have been a good place to put a Rallying Banner. Or not a... Oh! A uh, Ice Barrier. It's possible Nerthal has Rallying Banner in Home Soil. Um, and it would make more sense to put to leave the Norton the Storm Singer there than to spawn a 50 power rallying banner. But I'm not sure that I'm I'm not sure that's the case. It's probably not the case, actually. This is about to drop, and Eruption will do it. I haven't seen Eruption in Nerthal's deck. No, he started fire, so there is an eruption in his deck. There we go. Uh, I don't know, I guess he just wasn't paying attention earlier. Um, good last minute couple trick. And he's not going to ignore it. I was going to suggest that he actually just ignore this attack and finish off the well. Um, although, yeah, it's possible that maybe he maybe Eifer could spawn like a last minute Phoenix and would drop this. Um, although it's a bit doubtful. He's trying to power through this. Um, he might do it. Virtuosos have a lot of health. Um, and I'm guessing your first pretty low on power. Yeah, he is. Uh, they, they still got him now. He's got powering through. It was not a good idea. Um, this guy should come over here and heal up. Okay, and your first quits. Uh, so this is probably like a that wasn't a super interesting match, but you got to see a couple fire frost techniques. So hope you guys enjoyed that.